Off hands at Uxbridge by 340 runs, uh, two second innings wickets standing. The home side finished the day three, uh, day three on 377 for eight. All interesting, but joined in the studio, and this is the important thing, by the finest named guest we've had for a, Ebony. We were pleased to have anyone called Ebony because it's a beautiful name for a start, but when we got the full majesty, <laughs> we were really impressed. Now, I'm just wondering, when they put the scorecard brown, do we have EJ, CL, CRR, Brent? Into yeah. bad, oh, really. Oh, Rainford, Brent. Rainford. You have yeah. the right. Sorry, Rainford, of course. Rainford, 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 the fauna. Ebony, Jewel, Coralie, Camellia, Rosamond, Rainford, Brent. Yep. That's, that's it. That is fantastic. <laughs> if you take five wickets at Lords, they're going to need another plank on the end of that board to get it on there. Tell me about a it. A thing of wonder. That's true. And if the story I've read is right, mm -hmm. it's because three brothers and yep. one girl, yep. and everyone had a suggestion for what names needed to be. So wise, wise parents just went, you know, the best thing is just give everyone their way, keep them all quiet, yep. everyone gets a name. And I think I was going to be the last child, so it was easier to just fit it all in, get it done and dusted. That's fantastic. If it, uh, do you ever see a mug with your name on? No, <laughs> I'd love that's a, good, a great idea, actually. Oh, I need yeah, to get one of those done. Four pints of coffee in there, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> Terrific big thing. You can tell Ebony's kind nature because, you know, you clearly don't, you know, when you see a form, does, does it not fill you with dread every time you have it to does. put it does. Well, I, keep, I was having this um, dilemma today about si signing autographs I keep changing it. I don't know whether to do my in initials or do my name I'm struggling to just decide what to write because it just takes forever and forms go on forever kids Passports all think they're getting on. a message from you look <laughs> yeah. down it's the name <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to sign something we were saying you were signing things today just to yeah. explain you were, you were kind of working in your England capacity today yeah. weren't you and you've been abroad yeah. this afternoon what were you up to we uh, had our NatWest series launch today so obviously we've got a big summer coming up for us um, so they decided um, in conjunction with Sea France they were going to take us on a ferry all the way over to Calais playing some cricket on the helipad um, and it was really interesting and then we did a lot of media interviews sort of obviously like launching the series so um, yeah had a fantastic day to be honest um, and lots of sort of um, interviews and stuff like that but playing cricket on a ferry and we lost about 30 balls in the sea it was ridiculous so yeah de definitely had a good day today well, I could have told you that one <laughs> they're all good pictures it doesn't matter that's what they wanted the balls exactly, going to the sea yeah. if you'd have come back with the same ball you started with, yeah, they wouldn't have been marketing happy. man somewhere would have gone I think we missed a chance there, yeah actually. didn't go down because well. we're talking about the men and how they're going to start their test series mm. against South Africa and that's what you're preparing for I think it's, mm. is it the West Indies first yeah and then, and and then, then South Africa, Africa. But just one day is in 2020s? 20s, yeah. We've only got one, uh, one day is in 2020s, um, mainly because we've got the World Cup coming up, so a lot of the test was cancelled to fit more one day is in. Um, so, yeah, West Indies next week, and then after that, South Africa for most of August, and then India for the end of August stroke September. So a lot of cricket coming up, to be honest. I think we're all quite excited. You've got five one day internationals and three mm. 2020s just in August alone. Yep. It's going to be busy, isn't it's it? It's going to be very I mean, busy. There, is no, when, when, there was a time, and I'm not going to take the name of Rachel Hare, hopefully, in vain, <laughs> but there was a time when it was pretty much social cricket, really, mm. with a bit of an edge from a few players. And basically, it was converted hockey players in mm. the early days, wasn't mm. it? It is now highly professional, mm -hmm. and people are extraordinarily fit. And quite frankly, to play the way you lot play it, mm -hmm. to play five ODIs and three 2020s in a month, you've got to be fit, haven't you? Yep, because it we takes have. a toll. I mean, yeah. take us through your, your sort of your training routine yeah, alone. Yeah, uh, well, at the moment, so in a typical seven-day week at the moment, I'll be in the gym, um, try and get three weight sessions in, three running sessions in, on top of most will be three cricket training sessions and two games most weeks. So it's a pretty hectic summer, and obviously all around that we're doing, I'm doing coaching at the moment, which we'll mostly talk about a bit more later, but pretty full-on, to be honest, and we're getting fitness tested in the work, so I'm getting fitter. Um, and yeah, it's a lot to fit in these days. And I can already think weights, fitness sessions, and fitness testing, three things which never would have happened in women, <laughs> or frankly, men's yeah. cricket either about 15, <laughs> yeah. 20 years ago. Things are changing. They're changing loads. I mean, um, we're having strength and conditioning coaches who are putting us through a paces. Loads more is changing. And uh, uh, to be honest, I like it. I like, you know, pushing myself harder. So yeah, a lot more has changed. And women's cricket is just going forward at a fast pace at the moment. Is it because you were successful that it is, rather than, it, do you see what I mean? But did you have to become successful in mm -hmm. order for, for people to start paying attention? Yes, I think so. I do think it comes, performance sort of brings a lot more um, following, a lot more support. Um, I mean, with this sort of current scenario with us, well, us winning the Ashes at the same time as the men 2005, I think is mostly the biggest thing that has kicked off a sort of spark in women's cricket and more interest. And 
obviously we've won the Ashes again just recently. And Was it um, frustrating that you retained it with just the one match though? Yeah, I mean I know the girls were quite keen to have, um, would have loved to have more test matches and stuff like that, but how our schedule works and obviously we're still fitting this in around having mm. jobs or part-time yeah, jobs etc. So, you know, we can't have too many, but yeah, it would have been nice to have more test matches, but to win it's the main thing really and I think that's all, all the girls are keen and wanting to happen. I mean, you 